The first time you see it, you might think it rolled straight out of a sci-fi movie, but this isn't fiction anymore. This is America's first production, Solar Car. A machine that doesn't just run on electricity, it literally drinks sunlight. And today, we're not just looking at it, we're driving it, pushing it through daily life situations and answering one massive question. Is this the moment the solar car finally steps out of fantasy and into real life? Because for decades, people have promised a future where cars power themselves. Panels on the roof, energy from the sky, free miles every day. But somehow, no one has delivered a real practical solar car until now. At least that's the claim. So let's find out if this striking spaceship-shaped electric pod actually lives up to the ambition. And yes, calling it a spaceship doesn't feel like an exaggeration. The first time I stood beside it, all I could think was, this is what a bird, a jet, and a futuristic concept sketch would look like if they all merged into one vehicle. Everything about the shape is designed for absolute aerodynamic efficiency. Not the kind of efficient you hear about in marketing brochures. This thing is shaped by physics to slice through air like nothing else on the road. Climbing into it feels like you're slipping into a cockpit. The roof swoops over your head, the front narrows into a sharp point, and the interior hugs you like a two-seat escape pod. And once you're inside, the seating position suddenly makes sense. You feel low, you feel centered, and you immediately understand why this design exists. It's not meant to look normal. It's meant to reduce drag until nature runs out of objections. And strangely enough, it's comfortable. More comfortable than it has any right to be. The legroom is shockingly generous. Feet stretch out fully, shoulders relax, and the fit feels more like a sleek touring car than a tiny experimental vehicle. But what hit me first wasn't the seat, it was the pedals. They're made out of recycled skateboards, actual skateboard decks transformed into driving controls. And apparently, the full production model will support a skateboard recycling program to keep that going. It's one of those design choices that's so unexpected you can't help but love it. Now, this is a pre-production test mule, which means some parts won't be in the final car and some parts will. But even with the unfinished pieces, my early skepticism started melting away. There's something confident about the interior. The screens make sense. The wheel feels intentional. The seats fit naturally. And nothing seems cheap or prototypish. It feels like the future, just not the cold, overly geometric, video game future you see in some electric cars. This is more organic, more sculpted, more thought out. But all of that is secondary to the real question. How does it drive? Before we roll away, the first thing you notice is the sound, or rather, the lack of one. There's no artificial future hum no manufactured sci-fi audio trickery. What you hear is pure electric motor whir, clean, mechanical, honest. And the moment you touch the accelerator, the efficiency punches you in the face. Because here's the wild part. When you're in sunlight, this thing gains range. Not metaphorically, not eventually, right now, whether you're driving or parked, it is actively adding miles. Depending on your location, weather, and conditions, it can gain around five miles of actual usable range per hour in bright sun. That means daily commuters might not need to plug in for weeks. And that's before even mentioning its battery range, which the company claims will hit up to 1,000 miles in its top configuration. That's not a typo, four digits, more than triple what most mainstream EVs offer today. But even with solar power built into its DNA, it's still just a fully functional electric vehicle. When the sun disappears, it drives like any other EV. 
When you need a fast charge, you plug it in. When you want convenience, a basic household outlet can give you up to 150 miles overnight. It's self-charging, but not self-dependent. Of course, the three-wheel design raises eyebrows, but there's simple logic behind it. One wheel in the back reduces aerodynamic drag dramatically. The narrow tail, the teardrop shape, the tunnel of airflow, it all works together. And because three-wheel vehicles fall into motorcycle regulatory categories, things like the single center-mounted headlight are part of the classification. But safety hasn't been ignored. The shell is a composite stronger than steel, and it's equipped with dual airbags, both rare for three-wheel designs. Driving it feels unlike anything else. The curved windshield wraps far around your vision, almost like a helicopter bubble. Road noise is minimal, turning is sharp, and acceleration is surprisingly punchy. The final production car is expected to hit 0 to 60 miles per hour in about 4 seconds, with a top speed over 100 miles per hour. And despite being feather light compared to a typical EV, its stability, road presence, and comfort are far more refined than most prototypes. Even so, this early test model has quirks, like lacking power brakes. Not ideal. Especially when you remember that this is a priceless prototype. But even with that limitation, it drives better than many pre-production electric cars we've tested in the past. Some companies bring out early test vehicles that smell like spray paint and panic. This one? It feels genuinely close to finished. But solar cars as a concept aren't new. For decades, hobbyists and inventors built solar-powered one-offs, strange little projects that were more curiosity than practical transportation. Even in recent years, the only notable commercial attempt was a Dutch solar car priced around $250,000. It launched in late 2022, and the entire company shut down weeks later. Which makes this vehicle's existence more impressive. The company behind it has been around since 2005, but their journey has been anything but smooth. Bankruptcy hit in 2011, assets sold off, Dream put on pause. Then, in 2019, the founders relaunched the brand, raised millions, and rebuilt everything from scratch. Today, they've collected over 40,000 pre-orders and claim that production vehicles will hit the road soon. Investors even compete on a leaderboard for the privilege of receiving the first unit. For a company that vanished once, seeing this machine moving confidently on real roads feels like witnessing a second chance being executed correctly. And to test whether this futuristic pod could handle everyday American life, we put it through the most chaotic national challenge possible the fast food drive through Ordering burgers and drinks in a narrow lane might not be in engineering textbooks, but it's part of daily life for millions. And surprisingly, the car handled it with ease, only requiring a tiny adjustment to fit. Drinks, food, big orders, awkward angles, it all worked. Afterward, energy consumption still stayed low, sunlight kept adding range, and the vehicle never once felt out of its comfort zone. Hours of driving later, both of us had the same realization. This is actually viable. Not theoretically, not someday, right now. The car remains small, sure, it's only a two-seater. You won't load the family into it or take half the neighborhood grocery shopping. It's a commuter, a personal transport pod, a daily efficiency machine. But what it lacks in space, it makes up for in elegance and intelligence. The interior aesthetic feels warm rather than cold. The screens are clear, the fonts elegant, the materials cohesive, and the tactile feel refreshing. The driving torque is instant, strong, and unexpectedly fun. Everything about it whispers smart, intentional, 
engineering. And that leads to the big question, would this replace a traditional EV? For many people, yes. Especially those who drive a few miles to work, park outside, or live in sunny regions. You could realistically gain enough range daily to offset your commute entirely. Even in cloudier climates, the efficiency and light weight still make it an economical electric option. After several hours behind the controls, we were adding miles instead of losing them, something no other production vehicle in the country can claim. So, is this a daily driver of the future? Based on today's experience, absolutely. It's efficient, surprisingly fun, intelligently designed, attractively priced, and powered by something that's been shining on us for billions of years. Whether the company hits its production timeline or not, the technology is real, the performance is real, and the car is undeniably impressive. The future isn't just electric, it's sun-powered. And after driving this machine, it's clear that future is a lot closer than anyone realized.